Pluck a Pikmin. Hello everyone, I am Captain Olmar, and today I'm going to be telling you how to pluck a Pikmin. Uh, it's simple once you get used to it, but if you're just starting, like you probably are, you will need help. So today I am going to be showing you how to pluck a Pikmin. Our workspace today is going to be a, just a yard, because, well, uh, Pikmin's just outside somewhere. There can be... Well, hard to find, but I'll talk about that later. As of now, uh, really, we just gotta have a good area to you can walk around in. Might have a wanna have a body of water, and we have some defense here from bubbles. Although I think my, but uh, well, we'll talk about bubbles later. Uh, for now, uh, well, let's just uh, talk about the next thing to know about Black and Bit. So, uh, what makes this special for me is that, well, if we can do this and we can have a lot of people learning how to make grow pigment population, then we will be able to, well, we'll be able to have a lot more pigment and it won't be going almost extinct every time I come to the planet. And if we can have more, then we'll be, well, the world will be better. So, um, well, now, since we've talked about that, uh, let's go into supply. Um, well, the three materials you need for plucking a pigment are good eyesight, you need to have good strength, and um, you need to be smart. That's just about it. The first thing you need to have is good eyesight. You need to have good eyesight because, well, you need to make sure there are nothing that can harm your Pikmin. Swooping stitch bugs, that's fine. Female sugar grubs, fine. Bulb orbs, not fine. You have to be able to detect these things so that we can have a safe environment for the Pikmin. You don't want them being eaten after all. This won't go fast. Well, to be strong is kind of simple. You have to be able to pluck out the Pikmin. You can't be scrawny and think you can pluck out a pigman that's like, uh, probably li weighs a little less than you. Weighs probably as much as your friend in the pool. Depending on how big your friend is. But, anyways, so a little lighter, most likely lighter than you. But, uh, so the thing is, you s they're not pennies. You have to be able to actually pick them up. So, but, I mean, if you can pick. Um, it'll be fine. It's only too strong. Uh, on to the third material. Being smart. The third material is, well, being smart. Because if you're not smart, you won't be able to detect things like earlier, like bulb orbs. And if there's a bulb orb, like I said, they will eat your pigment. So do not let a bulb orb eat your pigment. You also need to be smart in thinking of because if you're not smart enough to take care of them, then you shouldn't pluck them in the first place. They will have a very bad time. And when Pikmin have a bad time, that's not good. So, you need to be smart. Um, that rounds up all of our materials. So, uh, let's continue. So, before we start, some helpful tips for plucking Pikmin. You need to make sure that, first, you need to make sure that there's nothing nearby second of all you need to hopefully hook you need to make sure there's most like an onion nearby if you want more and third uh something to remember is also pikmin don't die of age so yeah they'll be dead longer than you know, they're not eating anyways and also uh number four the most important thing pikmin love nectar so give it to them. If, they, if they're hungry, just go, go get some nectar. And we found an eggs, which is very strange. What just Ah, materials. Well, the first material we'll be talking about is your gloves. You have to have good gloves to plus the pigmen so that you don't hurt them, but are able to thrust them out of the ground. Because if you do this with them without gloves, you're either going to, you're probably going to be struggling and then pull them out and they're gonna not like that at all so you need to have good gloves with a strong grip so that you can pull them out the second material you need is 
good shoes because you need to have shoes that can stick onto the ground so that when you pluck them like this you don't go like that and go flying because that will probably startle the pigment pigment can get pretty startled when they don't know you well like for me who's seen the pigment for a while they aren't startled with me because they know me but like for that case they will have no clue who you are and the more you have, the less frightful because the Pikmin can tell their friends how much they like who you are. So just make sure you have good shoes so you do not scare the Pikmin. Because if they're scared, they run away. The final material that you need for plucking a Pikmin is something to make them like. You can give them nectar. You can give them. You can give them. I don't know, like. Well, you could give them, other than mostly nectar, you can also give them let's see here, a drink, like water, although they like nectar better. You can give them a snack, although they like nectar better. Or you can just give them nectar and make them happy. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's all the materials. On to the next step, or the first step. I know you've been waiting a long time, but now it is finally time we get to plucking the Pikmin. So, the first step is to find the pigment. I know, pretty simple. Well, it's not simple because they can be hard to find. So, you just have to keep watch. They can be literally under anywhere. I mean, they've been under fluke weeds before. They've been behind trees, behind glass, anything of the sort. So, you just need to make sure you know how to find it or where the pigment is. Normally, they come from an onion. So, just look for an onion. So, uh, right now, uh, let's get started. So, let's go find that Pikmin. So, let's see. Where would it be? Normally, they're near plants, so that's why I did a planting environment. Um, let's see. Let's see, anywhere. Maybe there's a blue Pikmin in the water. Hmm. Nope, not in there. Hmm. Okay. This right here should, uh, let's we'll see here. We should just keep, oh, there's a red pigment. Perfect. Step two is to grasp the pigment. Nope. So, yeah, that's mostly what you have to do. Just grab it and get in it. You have to make sure you're using the correct formation to pull it out. You will do this position by grabbing it, by the, grabbing it by the leaf, by the stem, and getting your other hand, so the pull the camera again, and grab it, and that's your position. So uh, then you're just gonna pull like that. So sorry, pick me. And um, then you'll just have it out. So let's get on to pulling it. Step three is to pull the big man. It's not. Uh, it's harder than it looks, but. And once you know how to do it, it's pretty easy. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna grasp it, like we said, and put it in, do this, and just pull. Yeah. If your pigment's scared, which it probably will be, just sit on some nectar, walk over, take a couple of steps back. right in front of you then, and then. Ah, mm. Then after that, it'll be close to you, and it will most likely enjoy you. thing to remember. Bulborb. Bulborbs. <sighs> they like eating your pigment a lot. Ow! Ah! 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 And you! Ah! Uh oh, oh no, oh no, run! Finding bulborbs is normally pretty easy. Just look around, and if you see one, they're normally in the sun somewhere. Sun tanning, like over here. Yeah. Uh, where did? Oh. 
So then you have to get rid of them. Getting rid of them. Simple. Charge them. Or if they're like this, throw them. Also, you just have to I forgot something. Where does the Pikmin live? Um, except that's really simple. Outside. Um, just to remember, just remember not to let them be eaten by bulls. Wait, what? No! where they live you also you might they go so you store them in the onion if an onion is not present you store them in your house because at night bulbs are awake and not asleep and they eat your pikmin so put them in your house if you have to or in the onion if you can or if they don't have an onion like the whites you have to go in your house, or they can go in your ship if you have a ship when you're visiting. But anyways, that's all you really have to know about Monkey Cup Pikmin. Let's actually wrap things. collecting having a Pikmin colony.